This video is brought to you by our beautiful sponsor, BeautifulHalo.com. Take out whatever your heart desires. Hoodies, shirts, pants, and even jackets. They have it all. We, would all like to, we all would like to wear some nice clothing, right? Well, Beautiful Halo is the perfect place for that. They have apparel in the styles of many well-favorited animes such as Jojo, Dragon Ball, Black Clover, One Punch Man, and My Hero Academia. They even have, they have, they have with many more items to choose from. If you're like the 1% who personally hates anime or just aren't into it despite being on this channel, then they've got you covered too, with a bunch of stuff for cartoons, movies, shows, and comics along with popular names like Star Wars, Spongebob, Marvel, DC, and Rick and Morty. They have hundreds of different items of clothing to fit your style so that you can feel like you in public or just around the house. What are you waiting for? Go check out BeautifulHalo.com and use code MEME for 10% off your next purchase. Remember, MEME, I repeat, use code M-E-M-E -E for 10% off your next purchase. Again, a huge thanks to Beautiful Halo for being our sponsor. Hey, what is up mortals? It is the Anime Sage here. Before we get into the video, there are a few things I'd like to say. Firstly, thank you to Beautiful Halo for sponsoring this video. Secondly, a quick thank you to our supporters on Patreon. The full list will be at the end of the video. If you'd like to support us and our content, please go over there and check it out. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Also, one more note, last week's video, this video was written by Noah Stories, link to the channel in the description. Please check him out after this video. The next day of school, Quaker arrives. Midori and the rest of the class go through their regular schedule, going through classes like English, math, and others. After class, the students go to have lunch in the main cafeteria, and after that, the hero classes begin. In class, the students are chatting when suddenly All Might comes through the door. I am here! Through the door like a hero. <laughs> the class is a bit surprised to see him. Kaminari then says, Holy crap, it's All Might! So he relieves the teacher. This year is going to be awesome, says Kirishima. Hey, look, he's wearing his Silver Age costume. And a class continues to marvel at All Might. So cool, says Midoriya. Why do I still get the sense that he's weaker than he appears, says Venom. Oh, I don't know. He is an one hero, though. Maybe he's just masking his presence some way. Could be, but I don't think so. All Might then gets onto the podium. Shh, says Midoriya, says to Venom. Welcome to the most important class at UA. Think of it as Hero Wing 101. Here you will learn the basics of being a pro, and what it means to fight in the name of good. Let's get into it. Today's lesson will pull no punches, says All Might. All Might then gets out a sign that reads battle. Baku then gr gets grins and seems really excited. Fight train. Real combat? Says Midoriya. Yes, he just said that. I know, I heard it's just, it's just surprising that he would do this on the first day. But one of the keys of being a hero is looking good, says All Might. As All Might says it, this, he points to the walls, some columns that come out of the walls, and in some cases with the suits, and they come out of the wall. These were designed for you based on your core registration forms, and the requests you sent in before school started, says All Might. The whole class just starts cheering. All Might then says, get yourself suited up, and then meet me at the train ground beta. A bit later, at train ground beta, All Might waits in front of the gate, as students start going through it, they are wearing their costumes, and they're ready for the exercise. Midoriya comes in last. In this version of events, he is wearing a plate armor, a gas mask around his neck, wearing a belt that holds a, a lot of pockets with a bunch of support items, and other items suited for rescue. Midori is also carrying two handguns armed with rubber bullets. The suit itself is then covered by Venom with a white spar symbol on the armor covering his chest for some reason. It kind of looks like Agent Venom. The students come out of the gate. They say that clothes make the pros, young ladies and gentlemen, and behold, you are the proof. Take this to heart. From now on, you are all heroes in train. Now shall we get started, you bunch of newbies, says All Might. Midoriya comes out of the gate, wearing his new hero suit. Hey Deku, I love your costume. Not too flashy. You know, and great for self missions. It really reminds me of what you were wearing for the answer exam. You probably just added some stuff to that, right? I really should have been more specific for what I wanted. This bodysuit is just skin tight. Not really my style, says Ochaka or Raka. I love this school, says Meta, as usual. Midoriya's venom mask peels off, showing his face. Thanks, Uraka. I think your hero suit looks great. Now that you're ready, it's time for combat train. Ida then raises his hand. Sir, this is a fake city from our entry exam. Does that mean we'll be conducting urban battles again? Oh my then says, not quite. I'm going to take you two steps ahead. Most of the villain fights you see on the news take place outside. However, statistically speaking, Ryan's with the most dastly evildoers 
take place indoors. Think about backroom deals, home invasions, secret underground lairs, truly intelligent villains stay hidden in the shadows. For this train exercise, you'll be split into teams of good guys and bad guys and fight two on two indoor battles. Isn't that a little advanced, says Asui? All Might then says, the best training is what you get on the battlefield, but remember, you can't just punch a robot this time, you are dealing with actual people now. Sir, will you will you be the one deciding who wins, says Yariozu. How much can we hurt the other team, says Bakugo. Do we need to worry about the illusions getting expelled like yesterday, says Uraka. Will you be swaying us by chance or comparative skill, says Ida. Is this cape très chic, says Ayama. All Might then says, I wasn't finished talking. All Might then grabs his grip and starts explaining the exercise. Listen up, the situation is this. The villains have hidden a nuclear missile somewhere in their hideout. The heroes must try to fool their plans. To do that, the good guys either have to catch the evildoers or recover the weapon. Likewise, the bad guys win if they protect the payload and capture the heroes. Midori then thinks, this is like a classic action movie sit setup. And then Venom says, those are boring, I'd rather, I'd rather just fight someone head on. Then Midori then says, we have a better chance of dealing with defeating our opponents if we have a teammate. Plus, we can use the environment to our advantage. That is true, says Venom. Time is limited, and we'll choose teams by drawing lots, says All Might. Isn't there a better way, says Ida? Think about it. Pros often have to team up on the spot, so maybe that's the reason we are seeing that here, says Midoriya. Yes, I see. Life is a ram, a series of events. Excuse my rudeness. No sweat, says All Might. Lots are drawn, and the teams are set. Where are the odds? Where are teams, Uraraka? Venom then says, your hormone levels are getting higher again, Izuku. Midorian says, we need to make a good impression on her, though, and shut up about my hormones. All Might then grabs the lots to see who will fight who. I declare that the first two teams will be... He pulls two balls from two different boxes. One says Team A, and the other says Team D. So Midoriya and Bakugou's team. All Might then says, These guys, Team A will be the heroes, and Team D will be the villains. Everyone else can head to the monitoring room to watch. Midoriya then thinks, Oh crap, we have to fight Bakugo. The explosion can pose a threat given our weakness to heat. Yes, but we plan for that. The suit is made to be able to fight in this situation, says Venom. Before the exercise start, the students and All Might meet in the front building where the exercise is taking place. All Might then says, Bad guys, you have five minutes to prepare until the heroes are let loose and the battle will start. Bakugo and Ida enter the building and go to the weapons room. Ian walking toward the weapon and he then taps it. Y Ida then says, Even as, as an exercise, it pains me to be aligned with criminal behavior. So this is the weapon. Fake, of course. Bakugo then says, Hey, Four Eyes, let's win this thing. I want to pound that worthless Deku into the ground. He then says, sure thing, but do you have to be so aggressive? Bakugo then shouts, WHAT DO YOU MEAN? He then sighs, do you even have some sort of plan, any plan? Bakugo says, nope. And then they start discussing the plan. Outside the building, Ur Uraka and Midoriya prepare for the exercise. Uraka says, do you really think they expect us to memorize this building floor plan? It's so big, you know, All Might is just as cool in person as he is on TV. I'm glad he isn't threatening us with some sort of punishment like Mr. Aizawa. Then Midori says, Yeah, All Might is awesome, but think about the exercise, we should be on our guard. Bakugo is very skilled in Ida too, probably. He can be a obnoxious sometimes, but he really is amazing and talented. You have to beat him. And then in his head, you worry too much. And then Uraka smiles, so it's a favorite battle between rivals. And then Midori blushed a little bit. Uh, oh, not like that, I'm trying to get you wrapped up in my fight or anything. Then says Midoriya, then Uraka then says, Are you kidding? We're a team, right? Let's win this! And then Midoriya nods. Two minutes later, the exercise begins. All Might then says, Are you all ready? Go! Uraka tries to unopen the door. It's locked, and, s and says Uraka. Midoriya looks around, up there. The mask forms around Midoriya's face. Midoriya then says, The window is open. And then Midori sticks to the wall and wall crawls up to the window. He then uses Venom to make a small rope for Uraka to climb on. Both of them then go through the window. And then Uraka then says, and just like that, we're in. Midori then says, careful, there are a lot of blind spots here. I think the best strategy is splitting up. If we find the weapons or an opponent, we message each other for help. And Uraka then says, got it. Then Midori then will then state, don't forget to be quiet and sneaky. Do not let your guard down. Uraka and Midoriya go in different directions. Venom then says, Midoriya, since we are being sneaky, do you want me to activate our camouflage ability? Midoriya then says, we have that? 
And then Venom says, yes, then do it, says Midoriya. And then Midoriya then disappears in the background and gets on the wall sneakily. Midoriya reaches in the intersection and sees Bakugo waiting. Then Ida says, for the earpiece, have they arrived yet? Bakugo then says, no, I'm still waiting. Well, don't let your guard down. If they want to get here, then they'll have to get by you. Midoriya gets back on the ground and sneaking behind Bakugo, pulls out some capture tape to try to capture Bakugo. Bakugo sees the form from the corner of his eye and quickly turns around shooting an explosion at Midoriya, creating a smoke screen. Venom then turns off the camouflage. You really thought you'd get me that easy, says Bakugo. Midoriya then goes into his earpiece and then says, Raka, come my way. One left and two rights. I found Bakugo. The smoke clears and Bakugo recognizes Midoriya. Bakugo then says, Deku. Bakugo charges at Midoriya for an explosion, but Midoriya jumps on the roof, evading the attack. He then jumps back onto the ground and hits Bakugo from the behind. Midoriya then says, You know, you made me call me Deku, but I won't be that easy to beat as I used to be. Bakugo looks at Midoriya in a sinister way. Midoriya pulls one of the handguns and shoots one of the rubber bullets. Bakugo shoots an explosion, counteracting the bullet. Bakugo then shoots another explosion, Midoriya hitting his hand and making him drop the gun. Bakugo's gauntlets and glow for a moment. Ah, finally, says Bakugo. Then, and then says, I have a bad feeling about this. Bakugo, you see, these gauntlets were made with a sole purpose in mind. Midoriya then thinks, Venom, do you remember the knockout gas? Venom then says, yes. They are made to hold as much of my sweat as possible, since my sweat is the key to my explosions. Midoriya then says, get the gas mask ready, and Midoriya, and shoot the gas. Venom shoots out the knockout gas canister onto the floor. Bakugo then says, you really think you can hide in some smoke? Think again. Bakugo is ready to take the pin out of the grenade and launch a full-scale assault. Alma then says for his earpiece, Bakugo, don't you dare shoot that thing, you'll kill him. And then Bakugo then says, nine feet up. And then Bakugo passes out. But Uraka then comes to running. Uraka says, I'm here, Deku, where are you? And then Midori then says, Don't go into the gas. Uraka stops in her tracks. Midoriya pulls the restraining cloth and Baku on Bakugo and grabs his unconscious body, moving him out of the smoke. Midori then says, It's Nako gas. You'll fall unconscious, and as a teammate, I don't want to be responsible for that. Midori then thinking to himself, V, can you filter the gas so I can still breathe? Then Venom then says, should be able for, for a couple minutes. And Midori then says, great. Then Midoriya takes off his gas mask and from inside the costume and gives it to Araka. Are you sure? Yes, my quirk should be able to counteract the effects of the gas long enough to get through. Now let's go. And then Midori and Araka then continue their path until they reach the room where Edie is keeping the weapon safe. Before going to the room, let's try this, this stealthy way, Venom. And then Midori then disappears. Then Baraka panicking a bit, where did you go? And then Midori says, I'm still here, just camouflage. He just says, what are you doing here, you do-gooder? My competitor should have taken care of you before you could get here. And then Baraka says, guess again, huh? Midori's keeping him busy. He then says, makes sense, Baku did go radio silent. Regardless, I have prepared for you, Baraka. You, you can see that I've gotten rid of all the small items in the room, so you couldn't, the Midoriya now visible and without the mask, Got it. And then Ida turns around. How how did you get there, Midoriya? Midoriya says, Camouflage. All Might then says, The heroes win! After the exercise in the monitor room, Midoriya is given the title of MVP for his battle for his battle affinity, strategize, and all that. And and praised for an amazing battle by many of their students, including Ida, Kirishima, and Sad and Sato. Bakun says, That was a cheap move, Deku. And then Midoriya says, All is fair in love and war. And all the other students then start doing the same exercise. Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now, there's a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. First, I'd like to let you know that we now have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time. So, if you're interested, go into the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Secondly, I'd like to thank our $5 Patreon supporters for helping to fund these videos. And lastly, on behalf we of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank the writer of this video, as well as the editor of this video. Their details will be in the description down below. If you're a voice actor, editor, or writer, or you're interested in becoming one of those, go to Discord that is in the description of this video and hit up one of the heads of those areas. We're always looking for me new members to join. Now, that's it for this, today's video. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested, and hit that like button if you like the video. Until next time, peace out, morals. Have an amazing day. In the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to 
little fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. 